<laughs> Good morning. Oh, we are going to work on Schedule C. Are you a small business that need to file or fill out Schedule C? Do you keep inventory? Well, that means you need to fill out part three of Schedule C, cost of goods sold. So let's get to it. We have, let me see here. Our computer here. And I believe I opened it already. So that's part three of Schedule C, cost of goods sold. Line 33, method used to value closing inventory. Technically, it should be cost. So, but those are the three options that IRS agree with. Lower cost of market, uh, lower cost, lower of cost or market, and here is other, and then you attach a statement for that. And keep in mind that if you are tracking inventory to file part three, you should be using uh, one of the accounting method we can go a little bit up to see that the accro is the recommended one and you can use the cash one as well. But if you are using something that is different from those two, you should specify it. And I'm, I use cash, but for inventory purposes, is accro is the one that is recommended. So if you are a new business, you are and you know that you will carry inventory because you manufacture product to sell or you uh, purchase product to resell you will carry inventories and you'll track them then and you're a new business you might choose a crow method but if you are you are you started with cash method you can still continue with cash method but if you wanted to switch, you need to file form 3115 to switch from one method to the other. So, and if you are switching from one accounting method to the other, you have to reevaluate your inventory for end, like for the beginning of the year. In case there is a difference, you a difference you will attach explanation here. So, line four, was there any change in determi determining quantity, cost, and valuation between opening and closing inventory? So, that would be known, but if there is a yes, because you are changing, you request from IRS to, uh, by filing form 3115 to switch from, you know, cash to accrue or something like that, and that affects how you value it. Um, how you value your uh, beginning inventory, yeah, you'll attach it here to show the difference. So inventory at beginning of the year. So let's pull uh, one form here. I'm not sure if I have it open. Let's see here. And I explain how I work on mine, you can see it on, uh, I think I have not posted yet, then I'll post it. But that's how I use a spreadsheet to track my inventory. So begin of inventory is 132. So we'll go back here and that will be 132. Purchase less cost of items withdrawn for personal use. So while you purchase during the year, 
will go on this row minus anything you took out of the inventory for yourself. So if you go back here, total purchase was $22. Do I have personal use here? Yes. Personal use was 66. So technically, let me see here. Equal 22. In fact, I can just do this. Equal this minus 66. 40 is 44.04. So let's go back here and put it here. So that will be negative 44. Does that mean allowed to do that? Take, I think usually we have to do the parenthesis. Let me see here. Okay, so it's going to take the minus. So minus 44. Cost of labor do not include any amount pay to yourself. So if you have employees in your business, you'll include the payroll cost here, but not your own salary. In our case, we don't have any relieve blank. Material and supply on line 38. Material and supplies are those materials that you use to produce uh, or to package your inventory items. So if they are necessary to be packaged in those supplies or materials before you enter in inventory, after you produce them, yeah, you will include those materials here. Don't include the packaging material you use to ship the product to the customers, but what you use to store your inventory will go here. And I don't think we have any here. So other costs. Well, anything you think that were included that were re directly related to your inventory will go here as well. And now add line 35 through 39. Line 35 through 39. Let's go back to our spreadsheet to see what does that give us. So line 35. That would be 88. 8836. Let's put that there and see. Eighty-eight inventory at the at year end. Inventory at year end. So that's when you count your inventories at the end of January. So year end here is eighty. So on line forty-one, we'll put eighty. Cost of goods sold. Subtract so forty one from forty. Enter the result here and on line four. So forty one from line forty will give you eight. And if we go back to my spreadsheet, you will see it here. Sold in two thousand nineteen, eight dollar thirteen cents. And as you can see my spreadsheet here, I have a way of tracking them. So this session pretty much is the start of the year. That's the purchases during the year. And we have year end here. And if we continue, the amount sold is here, and then I have discarded or taken out for personal use here, and I'm tracking my supplies in this section. It's not the perfect way 
of striking and vandal river that's why it's working for me at the moment and i keep pollution every year based on um the limitation that i have um that i have noticed to my spreadsheets so those are my supplies here but i didn't include it in um in it right away here because now all of it is directly related to storing the inventory but there is something here that i could have included would be probably the jars that i use to store my oils but the one that i track here are just the one that i use to i use on product that i already sold so that's how you track those um, expenses. So material and supply, I don't have anything for that row. And as you can see, eight dollars here match the cost of gold sold on my spreadsheet as well. That's how you fill part three, cost of gold sold on Schedule C of Form 1040. Thank you for watching. I'm Afiavio Jr. Libreman creators of Liberal Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap. And our website is ninasoap.com. Please visit our website and check our free downloads for templates and printable that we have there that could help you in your business or in your personal finances. Thank you.